Warner Enterprises dollar accounts. After I get done talking about the accounts, later in the video, I'm going to actually show you a video on the account. So just remember to stay tuned to that. I just want to tell you guys about it. Um, It's a lot of work. That's all I'm going to say. It's a lot of physical work. I was on both accounts. They have a Dollar Tree account. They have a, a Dollar General account. And they have a Family Dollar account. I don't know about the Family Dollar account, but I know that I was, I did the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Gym. Dollar Tree account is a lot more intense labor, I would say. You have to unload the packages by hand. And I used to work at FedEx way, way back in the day. And it's just like FedEx. But I was maybe 20, 21, and I'm 27 now. So I'm like, <laughs> I became a truck driver just because I want to drive. I didn't really want to do the physical labor. I said that, oh, you know, I want to keep in shape and I'll be home every week and I can do that work. You know, I wouldn't mind the physical aspects of the job. Nah. Ain't for me. Maybe for some of you people out there, but not for me. You got to, that thing is from your foot all the way to the top of the trailer. And each store may take about a few hours. And then I wouldn't say it was all the way me. I would say it's a lot of the people that work at Dollar Tree because you, they put they it's like rollers. You have to set up the rollers, and you put you'll see on later in the video. You put the um, rollers down, and they go on down to the people that work in the store. They're not allowed to get in the truck. You're not really allowed to go down there. So, however fast they moving down there is how fast you going. Some people are real lazy. And you got to sit there and just... That could take you all day. Some people were really fast. And they had about six people. And they're moving. And it's just you. And you got to hurry up and keep up. They waiting on you. So, I'm like, man... <laughs> <laughs> so then was it was good and it was bad, you know. But it, it just wasn't for me, you know. I was like, nah, I don't want to. I'd rather just work out at the house, walk the dog, some, or go to the gym. <laughs> but this here, no. Nah. And then a lot of the people would get mad. A lot of the lazy people would get angry with you if you pushing them down, and some of the boxes start falling. I got into it with this one lady. Get the hollering at me because, oh, the box is falling down on the side because you moving slow. She wanted to take four, five smoke breaks and stuff. And I'm like, man, say, look, <laughs> come on. I, I got two or three other stops I got to go to, and you doing this. <laughs> so, yeah, Dollar Tree account. The pay on the Dollar Tree account, I didn't get to that point. I'm, I'm not speak. I'm not sure, sure, but... I talked to a lot of other drivers on that account. I don't know if it's changed or not, but the first, I believe the first six or 12 weeks on the account, you guaranteed to make a thousand a week. Guaranteed. They're going to pay you a salary base of a thousand a week. At the taxes, it's whatever. But guaranteed a thousand a week. Uh, now, when you get done with that part, a lot of those guys were making probably... Show me they and they showed me their checks to I asked three people and they all seemed it seemed the same. These weren't leaders, you weren't trainers, you were just regular drivers. Some of those dudes are bringing home maybe sixteen hundred a week. Not two thousand a week. After text about sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, stuff like that. I was like, man, damn, that's some good money. That's that's some good money. I can do that for that. But man, they working hard. They working for every cent that they getting. They showed me the bad checks. It was only with the breakdowns. And that check was about an $800 check. I was like, man, okay, cool. But you working for every single penny that you getting. Every single one. So, still, I was like, man, I, I can make that as a regular o OTR driver or dedicated. I, I can make that. So, I, I'll figure something out. I'm just not, I, I'm just not trying to do that. Good money, but I'm just not trying to do that. 
So I left that account, left that one, went on to the Dollar General account. And I'm going to show you a picture. I don't have a video of the Dollar General, but I'm going to show you a picture of how you would, you can pretty much figure it out how you do it. But they have a lift gate on the trailer. They have like these things called the rollers, like carses, like pretty much like rollers. And you roll them out into the, into the, um, to the store. Sound, don't sound too hard. But the physical part of that aspect of that job is a lot of those uh, carts will be up really high. And there's no possible way that you can take that roller and roll it in the store without boxes falling. So you have to take stuff off of that uh, roller, that uh, roller, and put it onto another one. And they had these things called U boats, U boats carts that's in the store. You go in there and get them. You push them on the cart on the lift gate, put it back in the truck, and stack up your own thing. Not too too bad, but what gets hard is. Put them on the lift gate about three at a time. Roll them in the store. Some of those stores, the back area of the storage area was not that big. They may have a truck that was there last week and they don't have enough staff that's there that's even worked on unstocking that last truck. So this might be full. And you can't just say, oh, I gotta take it back to the warehouse. You gotta roll it in the front the front put it in the, the uh damn alleyway or something figure it out but you can't drive your truck all the way to the front because that's where the customs are parked there you park and you, your truck trailer is in the back so you gotta roll one by one all the way up there that ain't it so when you get there and you get done doing that a lot of those just like dollar tree some of the customers the store employees they, some of them would come help. I wouldn't say all. Uh, some of them were so, I would say, OCD about it. The where they didn't even want you to roll it in. They wanted their stuff a certain way, which those are the great guys. Those are some good people that make your job a lot easier. All you got to do is get it off the lift gate, and they roll it in, put it how they want to put it. That was perfect. Cool with me. But you had those like, oh, I don't care. Just whatever. I just work here. <laughs> and, you know, some of them will take their time on coming on our door. Oh, oh, I don't have the key to open the door. You're going to have to wait till the morning. They just didn't care. You know. Say, oh, just put it in wherever you can fit it. Not even organized. This back area wasn't even organized or anywhere for anybody to put their stuff in. So, yeah. And then once you get done with unloading that, you got, I would say we had maybe three stores and the old um, carts that you had full of boxes that they would unload the truck and use and they'll put them outside. So it could be about, I would say maybe 20 of those carts a store at the most, about 20 of them. And you gotta bring back 20 empty carts back to the warehouse, back to the DC. And the DC of Dollar General, the one I was on was in Ardmore, Oklahoma. And you have to bring that back. Put those cars, those empty cars, they, they folded together though. They did fold together, I give you that. Some of them were empty full of cardboard boxes because they recycled the boxes and stuff like that. Then they had the, um, I forgot what those plastic, those uh, cars, some, I forgot what they were called, but they had the plastic little, I, I don't remember what they're called, but cars or something like that. And they put those in, but they would already be un, unfolded. You have to put all those back onto the truck in front of your next stop. That's how it working yourself. <laughs> so when I get to the next store, I gotta take all this stuff off or move it to the side and then get the next stores off. Move around, maneuver around all those old stores, those empty carts and, and then unload that store. <sighs> yeah, so that was some hard work. <laughs> That was some hard work. And the pay on that account, they just started it. I don't know if it's changed or not. We are in, what is it? This is June 4th, 2021. So I don't know. This may change over time. or I, I don't know. 
So if you're watching this video, it's June 4th, 2021. <laughs> so I don't know if it's different now, but it's no, it's guaranteed pay at thirteen fifty a week. I didn't really talk to cause a lot of drivers on that because I didn't really get to stay that long on that account either. But a lot of those guys were saying, you know, one guy, my uh, my trainer, but he was a trainer, so you know, trainers get paid a little bit more than everybody else. He said he was bringing home about eighty thousand a year. I'm like, oh, cool. But you guaranteed to make nothing less than thirteen fifty a week. They're gonna pay your salary base, not just twelve weeks on the account, six weeks on the account. You're never going home with nothing less than thirteen fifty. Sounds great, but <laughs> gotta remember the ones that pay like that. You working for it. You working for that money. So, you know, anybody, you know, that's interested in doing that, just look it up. Well, first, really say to yourself, when I do that, can I get used to that? Look, just think about that. I said, oh, I want to do it. I'm going to lose weight anyways. I'm going to lose this belly and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Man, I'll figure something else out. I'll go to you before I do that. So, you know, just keep that in mind, you know, whenever you thinking about those dollar accounts. Family dollar accounts, I don't really know. Oh, as a matter of fact, I forgot to go down there and pay for the uh, trailers. The Dollar Tree account, it was 200 a trailer. So when you get on that whole trailer, it's 200 And I think the mileage paid for that was about, I think it was like 48 to 50 cents a mile. I forgot. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'll just say what I think. And Dollar General was $60 a trailer plus 50. It was at least, I think it was 54 cents a mile. So it was some good, some good paper on those accounts. But you working for that account, though. You working. You working. And yeah, so due to customers and the physical aspects, something it wasn't for me. I was like, nah. I'm not I'm not finna do this account, so I'm on a whole new account now. You know, I'm just driving, dropping and hooking. And if I gotta stay out longer to get that thirteen, fifty, sixteen hundred, I'll go ahead and do that. But I ain't trying to do nothing because I got in the truck driving just cause I want to drive. I want to be by myself. <laughs> and that's cool with me. But uh yeah, so I'ma show you a video about how it was with those accounts. I don't have a video of the Dollar General account. I just got a picture of it, but I should have tried to get it, but I didn't. But you can just pretty much figure that out from there. So, yeah, so subscribe, y'all. I got more videos coming out. More videos coming out. I'm always putting out videos and stuff. So, subscribe. Leave me a like. Comment down below if y'all been through this. Comment down below for any other questions that I didn't go through on the video. Leave me some comments, engage, and tell me what y'all think, you know, so, and I'll try to answer all of them as much as I can, so, subscribe for more videos, and let me know, see y'all in the next one.